Hello, this is Jighead TV and today I wanted to just talk about uh, soft baits, different types of soft baits and uh, which one, where and when to use because you know many questions, many, many people asking questions on what exactly, which kind of soft bait I should use, what is the best soft bait I can tell you that there is no specific best soft bait all soft baits are uh, they have their own uh, different way of playing and targeting different type of fish for in a different kind of situation. So, for example, let me just repeat all of them. Uh, we have uh, types of soft baits which are, uh, I will say, for example. Mino and uh, warm types, this uh, or you know, it's mainly like a warm type, Mino type. Here is again warm type uh, soft bait, or at the same time, they called sticks, worms and sticks. They're uh, kind of similar uh, soft baits in a way of playing, and uh, this kind of soft baits are uh, useful in. Uh, for the passive fish, well, because you can play it on the bottom, you know, you see how the tail plays, so you can make it play on the bottom. And especially this kind of sticks and worms are very good in uh, situations when there is a current. And uh, you just leave, for example, you make your poses once your sinker is down and you take longer time for uh, retrieval. So you make poses like up to one minute sometimes because the tail keeps playing uh, in the current and at attracting the fish. <clears throat> and it has no resistance in the water, so it's easier to retrieve in the water. Any types of uh, worms and sticks, they are very good for that. The second type, which are also one of the interesting types and used very often it's uh, grubs or some people call it twisters uh, they have uh, tails that are twisting you know once you retrieve it they are good for the normal simple retrieval because they always have some action and they keep playing or at the same time they are good for the situations when there is a current the tail will play by itself in the water on the current itself so attracts a lot of fish and um, I think the grubs is the one of the grubs and sticks they are very powerful uh, tools when targeting any type of species say trivalis you know like um, different ones orange golden uh, kingfish barracudas they love this kind of grubs and uh, at the same time um, emperors groupers sea breams all of them are in love with this kind of soft baits the worms and the grubs the other type is uh, is a minnows minnow type they usually come with a split tail it's uh, similar to to the type of uh, worms or sticks and you see you can see that the tail plays uh, like very nicely and it's very active and it makes very low frequency additional low frequency vibration and uh, you know that the vibration is very important for the fish because that's how they catch the prey and uh, this kind of vibration creates you know the, the low frequency vibration especially on the bottom it shows like a uh, fish is feeding and it gives a good signal for a predator to attack because uh, you have ability to catch the fish instantly while it's uh, eating so these are good for many predators like uh, bigger sizes are good for kingfish and uh, trivalis the smaller sizes for smaller barracudas, smaller trevalis, you know, mid-sized trevalis and emperors, different type of fish. And then uh, 
we have a type which is called paddle tails. Uh, paddle tails because they they have tails like a paddle and very interesting soft bait. They represent a fish when they swim their tail plays very actively especially on the very slow and fast retrievals and this kind of uh, you know the paddle tails are a bit harder to play in the current because it has a higher resistance than the sticks and worms but uh, they are very effective in uh, rock fishing when you're playing you for example you put a very low weight on it five gram you know max seven grams sometimes if you want to cast further okay like 10 12 gram and then you just keep slowly retrie retrieving it above the rocks killer for a grouper I mean they cannot resist this kind of paddle tails and at the same time like when you see the action you can cast it on uh, on the action itself and this one is a killer is a for any pelagic fish like kingfish and uh, trivalis and queenfish because the paddle tail represents uh, like a normal tail for a fish and it keeps playing like a fish that is running away a very realistic movement and the the first you know the very nice ability of a soft bait because a uh, fish if it bites it it doesn't spit it straight away and you have a nice chance of uh, hooking the fish because you know sometimes even when I'm catching a fish I can feel them chewing a soft bait so it gives me more advantage of hooking the fish for example if it comes to jig they hit it and they feel it's a metal if it's something not real they spit it out you know and if you didn't put your set your hook properly at the beginning you lost the fish here you have uh, more advantages on that and uh, all soft baits are good the next type is the the bottom uh, this one is made for bottom feeding fish any type of crustaceans you know like the the ones that look like uh, crabs lobsters shrimps or whatever and the ones that look like a uh, bottom feeding fish you know bottom feeding fish is a good target for many species and grouper emperors they target them a lot and this kind of soft baits are uh, used specifically targeting the bottom feeders and uh, they are perfect in uh, the sense of course it's not very good sometimes you can get something on the retrieval in the rocks for the uh, this kind of uh, crabs for example or shrimp but mostly mostly this kind of soft bait is played on the bottom and sometimes it's a very you know small jerks small twitches because uh, usually crabs don't swim that much so they just move on the same thing with the shrimp they move on the bottom so you play it more on the bottom which you know gives more realistic view and the predator will attack it so i hope this one uh, this video helped help you a bit to understand what kind of soft baits you need which soft bait you need to use and they are all good there is I mean there is and like from all the soft baits I've shown you I've caught on all of them and uh, the only difference is you have to understand the situation of the water for example if it's calm that means you're gonna use something more active playing if the water with the current then you you can use something uh, with more passive play because the current will give it uh, additional play and uh, you play with it you make different uh, try different colors um, as we say you know it's if it's clear water we make more natural colors and if it's uh, very murky water dark water then we tend to put some uh, more attractive colors but this is not the rule uh, I remember, you know, this, there is sometimes uh, possibilities in the clear water. I put a very active uh, color, you know, very 
something acid green or something like that and fish loves it and bites it on it so keep experimenting keep trying and uh, I think it's uh, you know if you are fishing a lot with the soft baits it's better to not to stick to one type it's have uh, different types with you all the time and according to the situation you can change the soft bait and try to catch the fish from top from mid water or from bottom and if any questions you can comment and ask them we are ready to help with that and uh, see you again next time on the next video and thanks a lot for watching this thank you very much